forgetting any visual output from Arduino, we sometimes got restricted to monochrome options like LCD displays or these I2C displays. But we also have some options for color output like these TFT displays. These are quite inexpensive and can be easily integrated in your circuit. So hey guys, this is Techuino and today I'll be showing you how you can use these TFT displays in your project. So let's get started. So this is an SD7735 color TFT display with a 1.8 inch screen size 1160 by 128 pixels. This works on an SPI protocol and it also has SD card option which gets quite in handy when working with large image files. To use this display with Arduino, you can assemble the circuit according to the schematic. And now let's move to the coding part so before starting with the coding side let me tell you what all libraries you will be needing to use this TFT display so in to install any library go to sketch include library and then click to manage libraries initially it will down uh, update all the libraries you have then you can search for the your first library you need for this display that is gfx and the first one to come is this adafruit gfx library i have already installed this library and if you haven't then you will get an install button here like you can see here uh, if you haven't installed uh, then click to that install the second library you will be needing is st st7735 the second library needed to use this display is this tft built-in by arduino adafruit i have already installed this one too and after installing this one you also need to install this second one adafruit st7735 after installing all these three libraries you can close this tab and now go to file click this example and you will be seeing all these library you have installed here go to this adafruit st7735 and then this graphic test after assembling the circuit as per the given schematic you can use this code test your display so i have also assembled the circuit and now let's upload this code i have made this circuit on arduino nano and it's connected to com port 5 so now let's first verify this code so as the code is compiled now let's upload the code So as you can see this display is working fine and now let me tell you what all functions you can use in this library. Before that let me tell you how you can initialize this TFT display. First of all you need to include the libraries of GFX, ST7735 and as this display works on SPI protocol you also need to include this library too. After including these libraries, you will make an object of this library, the TFT, and initialize this library with the TFTCS, TFT DC, and TFT reset pins. So now let me tell you how you can write text on this display. For before writing the text, you need to clear the screen, and for clearing the screen, here we use TFT dot fill screen. 
and the parameter passed here is the color with which you want to fill the screen here i am filling the screen with yellow color now you need to set the cursor i am setting it to 0 comma 70 this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate of this screen after that you need to set the text size and the text color i have chosen the red color and after that you can add this line and then you can call the tft print function and by passing the statement you want to print so now let's upload this code and see so as you can see the background of the display is yellow and the text written upon it is in red color so now move to the next important and useful function that is the draw line function the initialization part of the draw line functions also remains the same after that you have to call the function tft.drawLine and by passing the starting coordinates and the end coordinates with the color of the line you can just upload this code So as you can see, the starting coordinates I have set is 0, 0 and the end coordinates I have set is 127, 159 that is the bottom right corner. So this line has been drawn. In the next statement, the starting coordinate is 0, 159 that is the top left co right corner and the bottom left corner 20, 127, 0. You can also draw many other shapes like the circle by passing the center coordinates and the radius. You can also draw triangle by passing all the three corner coordinates. And you can also draw rectangles by passing the upper left coordinates and the width and height of the rectangle. You can also draw round rectangles by passing the similar arguments that of draw rectangle with an extra radius argument let's see by uploading this code drawing shapes was fine but what's the use of a color DFT display if you are not going to draw an image on it? So let's see how you can draw an image on it. So for doing this, we are going to use a micro SD card as the memory of Arduino is quite small. So we are going to store the image file on this micro SD card and using the micro SD card adapter as I don't have the SD card which can be used in this display. The connections of both of them are same. You can make the circuit according to this schematic. So I have assembled the circuit and now open the file in the example option the Adafruit library the spit ft bitmap file and here this file uses the sd library to open the file saved in the SD card so this function calls the BMP file saved in the SD card so now let's see how you can make an BMP image for this you have to download paint.net file and opening an image file let's say JPEG image after opening the image go to image option resize and you can resize your image to the size of the TFT display. The width will be 128 and the height will be 160. Click OK and go to File, Save As. Save as an BMP image. When you click the Save, a dialog box will come on and you have to save it as a 24 bit click ok and your file will be saved now save this file 
in your SD card and rename the file in here now upload this code to your Arduino so as you can see the image has been loaded on this TFT display so this was all guys all the files libraries and the code are given in the description below and if you like this video share this and subscribe to techuino until then this was techuino signing out